This is Doug. I wanted to do a little reflection on some of this conversation that's been going on around the internet about the use of the word emerging church. Uh, the way I see it is in the last uh, 10 years or maybe 15 years, there's been a development for some people of the use of the word emerging church. And I have always seen the phrase emerging church to be a subset of a larger conversation, a larger conversation that's uh, now coined by uh, Phyllis Tickle for a lot of us in uh, emergence language. So the emerging church to me seems to be the implication or the play out or the ramifications of emergence happening inside the church. And the conversation that's gone on in the last number of years and that's been summed up in Dan Kimball's book, The Emerging Church, was to take notions and ideas of this grand emergence that's happening in culture, that there's a great cultural shift that's going on, probably developing over the last 500 years, that that kind of shift has ramifications in ecclesiological structures, or what would churches look like? But that's a smaller question, and questions of emergence or emergent theory, those are the bigger questions. They have to do with the entire scope. For those of us who are looking at the issues of religion, it means not only the church, but it also means theology and structures and the story that we tell and the mechanisms and modes by which we tell those stories. So emergent is the large question. Emergent is the big category. And emerging church is the ramification of those ideas, the implications of those ideas, on the church structure. But unless one is uh, an ecclesiologically centered person or thinks that the church is really the center of all thinking or the center of all activity in the world, um, I guess you would only have to assume then that the emerging church is a subset of a larger sense of things that are in the midst of emerging or emergence theory. So anyway, uh, that, that, that's my reflection on it. So I know there's all these people who are suggesting an emerging church is coming to an end and so on. And I, I just think it's, um, it's not worth much of a conversation because emergence is happening. There's emergence in society. There's emergence in global um, engagement. And that's going to have implications across the board in every area, including the church. So it's not going anywhere. But I think what people are frustrated with is the promise that was made by those who coined the phrase emerging church and then branded it and sold it. And that's why for many of us who've been involved in the network of Emergent Village, we've tried to say, look, there's a need for a network inside of this great emergence that's taking place. And the community of Emergent Village is that network. None of us have really been hard sold into the emerging church category other than the fact that we are church planters or we're church participants or we're church uh, interested people. But other than that, uh, this concept of the emerging church being the center of it all has never really been the way many of us have thought of it. So I think that the better way to, to view it is that emergence is the larger category of what's going on. And that emergent village is the network inside of that larger movement. And the emerging church is one of the enterprises that some of the people inside that network have been a part of. So. Um, if the emerging church category is coming to some changes or if other people are starting other networks, I certainly uh, I encourage them to do so because the emergence uh, uh, theory and emergence phenomena is uh, important and needs to have many, many networks and many expressions of it. But I think it's uh, uh, important to understand uh, which is the larger of the categories. And for me, uh, emerging church is a subset of a larger emerging category. So that's uh, my uh, video blog post on that topic that's been rolling around. Thanks.